And it's getting far more complicated today because we now have six different sets of consumers that we're trying to satisfy with every brand and business in the room. So we have six sets of consumers. The problem is they won't fucking die. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> they're, they're stacking up, you know? Um, so, so we have everything from the traditionists through the baby boomers, your Gen X, your Gen Y millennial, your Gen Z, and now we even have the alpha generation at the end, born after 2010. I'll be honest, we got quite lazy when it came to naming the generations. <laughs> Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z. Oh, run out of alphabet. We we'll start again, Gen Alpha. Um, so they all bring different problems and challenges to our businesses. We're trying to now deliver a market solution to all these people, and these people have different value systems, different ways of looking at the world. Uh, and even if you want to center it to the center four, which really is 90% of all consumerism, 90% of your your business as consumers. These are the four that you're trying to satisfy. You're trying to satisfy the baby boomers, Gen X, Gen Y, and, and Gen Z. Because by 2020, Gen Z will be the biggest consumer group in the world. Okay, let's let that sink in again. So it's not millennials. Stop talking about millennials. Millennials were the support act. They were the warm-up. Gen Z is the step change, and they will be the biggest consumer force by 2020 in the world and every economy. This is a generation that will define the success of your business.